Hello, my monster links. This is the Oz Monster back again with Star Fox Guard. I've been thinking about doing animations lately. I've been getting better at it. Although I'd probably only be able to do short minute animations. It takes too long. And I have all the time. I just don't know if I have that kind of talent to keep doing it. I can do something simple. School assignment's asking me of that. Twelve. Six. Button. Button. Wait a minute, isn't that the button that makes him tougher? Yeah, there was a bonus level I played. There's a button that makes the robot stronger. Four. You cannot hide. Oh, number six. Well, six. Oh, actually, that was another camera. What the? The slow mo cam and the missile cam. Really, you really do. They're really good cameras. You know, after I recorded Resident Evil 4, I actually wanted to record. Well, I already played 5 and 6, and I had a bunch of games at the time, but it wasn't Resident Evil 4. It, it was a game that was actually similar to Resident Evil 4. The mechanics and all that, and there are zombies, but it's not a Resident Evil game. But it's for the PS2, like Resident Evil 4. It's actually called Cold Fear, and I came in my my brother first bought it, and then he never played it again. Maybe. Then again, there was a lot of backtracking, like Metroid, so. And he doesn't have the patience for those kind of games. But yeah, I did that game, and I actually wanted to record it. It was very fascinating. Five. Yeah, so you're better off just like open floor. Ah! I almost dropped the pad. That's an explosive. Yeah, I wonder if it will blow him up. Oh my god, it did. That's awesome. I had to destroy that so I could save that. That was the last one. Yes, it was. Perfect score. 
Oh, that's the point of the hoverbot. None of the other robots can take it, such as the UFO and the other. Alright, circuit B. Speedsters and slowpokes. I do like the names of the levels, they're actually kind of clever. Oh yeah, I was talking about Cold Fear. Cold Fear was a game that looks a lot like Resident Evil 4. And it has zombies. It's a, it's, it's a Resident Evil 4 mechanic, you know that. Kind of running around with the guns and stuff like that. You know, you could run around, but then you have to stop and shoot. But it's not in first person, it's the, thir it's the third person view, just like Resident Evil 4. I think I'm oversimplifying it. Anyway. Anyway. The game is a lot like that, except it takes that place in the sea, and you're a coast guard who gets onto a derelict boat to try and investigate what happened. Because a team was sent in initially, a SWAT team, I think, and then. But the word on that team didn't get out. So then the coast guard gets word of it and then decides to go check it out. Not knowing that a military team was sent onto the boat already. <laughs> You know, you think with all these cameras. Ah, oh, that's the slowpoke. Hey, I saw that. How many of these? This bot. Number f camera five, eh? Camera nine. And this is a bot. Juking me. I got the perfect clear. I got the perfect clear at the very last second. Ah, come on! Ooh. Next level up after the upper cam gives me access to another to another special. That's awesome. These special cameras really do make a difference. If you have enough of them, they you can actually use them to their fullest potential. But one by one, not so much, unless it's uh, certain ones. Like the slow-mo cam, you could do it by itself, or the hover, or the just certain cameras. I I really need to figure out how to record the pad. Okay, so yeah, definitely not the uh, charge shot. Actually, I could have used the charge shot in the last one. Now that I think about it. Wow, holy, jeez. So when the cameras got kidnapped, I could have actually put the cameras back on the wall. I didn't know that until after I took the challenge. There's a lot of smoke bombs. Hey, I know that bot.
I got greedy again. Almost snuck perfectly through. Oh crap! I just put that camera up. Oh, you can actually see the actual bullet that they created. Oh! Now that sucked. The visual bot got through. No wonder I didn't see him on the radar. I was too busy trying to deal with all these other robots. So make that two levels. Then I lost that. Well, then there's the challenges. Like you can't, like you can't shoot the robot when it had a robot frog on it. There is a kind of pattern to it. Smoke bomb bots. A lot more smoke bomb bots. get it now because I died I don't get that I don't get another shot of the gold bot well, that sucks because I got greedy that's why fortunately so like and that one visual bot got through which also ruined that So the golden bot just like appears randomly it seems like. It doesn't actually like... It's not like an actual robot that's commanded to do something. It just appears randomly during one of your matches. But no! I did not make that dock! Ghost bot took it out. Dang it, that ghost bot again. Right. 
Whoosh! And that killed it quick. Now, how did that robot get in there so fast? That's the question I want to know. Well, let's see if we can. God damn it! I hit the. That's annoying because you gotta hit the button to go to the next screen. But then you got the. That time, he didn't even try to kill you. Wait a minute, it's not targeting! What the hell is this crap? about it literally took literally everything got dark because of it well, I got the other stuff. copper can all right well at the end of the video there's the Osmos are signing off until next time if you're even watching this series